What are you doing? Making a towel. What does it look like? Okay, why? You don't expect us to eat this rubbish, do you? <laughs> you keep giving us these horrible, cheap beans. <laughs> and I think you'll find they're past their sell by. Yeah. Only by a few days. We've got to save money. Well, look, we've had no takeaway. It's double in electrical time. Okay, okay, I know it's a little bit rubbish. My cat's on my piano lessons! I always have piano lessons on Wednesday. But I don't have piano lessons on Wednesday, then Wednesday won't work. Look me in the eye, Tracy Beaker, and tell me this is fair. The council stopped paying for Doss's piano lessons three months ago. So who's been paying? You. Yeah, and we can't afford to do it anymore. You shouldn't have to pay in the first place. Look, tell the council we've cut everything we can and we're done. It's not like they can chuck everyone out in the street, is it? They're going to shut us down and move everyone somewhere cheaper. Bernie Wood. That's why we need to make these cuts work. No, nah, look, just don't get sucked in. If they want to shut us down, they'll do it. Doesn't matter how much money you save. Saf, come back. I've done a stretch in Boneywood. I'm not going back. Then help us make it cheaper here, and you won't need to. Neither will anyone else. Everyone, let's show these council muppets how to run this place on the cheap. So the best on the net. I'll shift the rest. I've got more games to sell. Here, Harry. Oops. That was Jeff's fault. I can get 20 quid for that so far. How do you know? Because that's what that dodgy house clearance man offered me last time. I'll turn off these lights. That'll save electricity. Get Johnny to uh, take down the curtains. Me and Frank to shift them. Okay, I've gone through like everything, and you can have this and this. Coleman, we need to make money. I need to see two full bin bags. Two? Give me attitude, it'll be double. What are you doing? Oh, I thought if we put these on our feet, then we won't miss the carpets. You're thinking too? Pointless. Well, at least she's trying. Wait, hey, look, lads. What are you doing? You're selling it. What? I don't need it anymore. Come on. Ah, no, 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 no. What are you doing? We're on a mission, Mike. No time for feelings. But I know, Frank, you can't take. The best things in life are free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I need something we could sell. How much do you reckon we get for Gina? <laughs> we need Gina. We could sell you. It's more me on Gina. You know I'd resign if it would help. I do. It wouldn't. Thank you. <sighs> I can't stand the thought of them crazy in the dumping ground. It's where I grew up. Maybe who I am. Mm. That's why the claws are good down. <gasps> do you try and kill a bit of that yourself now? Good girl. And then you could try some of your vegetables. How's about that? Uh, Lily. Can I get down, please? Of course you can. Don't worry, you'll get used to how we do things when you're here every day. Matt and I think it's time we move back in. Yes! <laughs> You got rid of everything. Except the important things. Liam! Don't thank me yet. There's more. Ta da! Yeah! 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 Well, what are you doing? <laughs> We'd like to present you with the results of our Saving Eltree House campaign. T's going to move in with me and Lily so we can save on heating. What, what have you done with the carpets? And 
Where are the curtains? <laughs> All in good time. See? I made these so that we don't miss the carpets. Thanks. It's lovely. Gus? We've worked out the savings. Saving electricity, saving heating, and also sharing bath. Talking! No, no, there's no way I'm sharing a bath. Me neither. Not all at the same time, just the water. No, no, that's rank. Talking! I think the savings to the money Liam got from the house clearance, man. The what? It's all about the contacts, Mike. Yeah. Talking! Adding the cash to the savings means we're each going to cost... £29.87 a week less. That matches the Burnywood prices, right? <laughs> yes. Continue. Right, we, we can't see how hard you've all worked, yeah? Oh, it's a bit here, please. Um, look, there isn't a council in the country that would let us run a home like this. I'm really sorry, guys, but you're gonna have to buy the whole lot back. Well, see, I told you it was a waste of time. Well, let me remind Harry how much you've helped when they cart him off to Burnie Wood. <laughs> and the snorty old warhawk roared at the three princesses. They shivered and shook and shot their magic powers. <sighs> How's my favourite girls? You ready for a story? Yeah. Yeah. Matt, Lily was just in the middle of telling them one. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. You carry on. We no, are not! It's okay. I'm tired now anyway. Good night, girls. Katkin's kibble was in big trouble. Lily. I'm sorry about that earlier. Um, this is for you. We were going to give it to you tomorrow, but you might as well have it now. Matt made it to go on your door for when you move in. You spent Lily wrong. Oh, no. Oh, give it back. I'll, I'll get you. It's fine. I like it. No, no, it's not. I like it. You do want to move in, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. We probably shouldn't have said anything in front of the girls. It's just that well, Matt and I had already spoken to your social worker and we, we thought you'd be pleased. I am, I promise. Good night, then. First place I've ever felt that home. I never heard that. What are we gonna do? Plan B. I haven't got a plan B. Neither have I yet. But I'm not giving up till we get to at least plan F. Feels like they're trying to wipe out my past. Isn't Burniewood the place where all your stuff got nicked? Yeah, and I got my door kicked in four times. I was only there two weeks. It's typical. Uproot young people who are settled and happy just because it's cheaper somewhere else. Stinks. I just wish I could do something about it. It's hard to make a difference on your own. What if I wasn't on my own? I mean, if enough people kick up a fuss, it might force the council to stop. Persuade is probably better than force. Persuade it is, then. Come on, you're not going to get more than that for this rubbish. It's a bad idea. It's a great idea. It's the only idea we've got. And I'm going to write an article about it. You know the newspaper that offered me the job? They said they're going to print it. You see, that sounds like a Tracy plan to me. And what exactly is a Tracy plan? It's the only option we've got, Gina. We've got to do something crazy to make people listen. That is a Tracy plan. Tracy plans work. Most of the time. Let's do it. I want the part of it. <sighs> Are you sure you don't want me to come in with you? Yeah. I'd rather tell Mike myself. Thanks. <sighs> what 
Lily, you'll never guess what. They want to send us away, so we had to sell everything, then make a girl bedroom, then make a boy bedroom, and then none of that worked, so we had to work all back. Wait, wait, what? Basically, the council want to close us down and send us to Burnley Wood. Lily, come and give me a hand with these. Sure. Did you have a good time with the girls? Yeah. Christy asked me to move in. She's cleared it with Rob and everything. Well, that's good news, isn't it? Well, they're really nice. And I'd rather be at theirs than Bernie would. But... But what? I don't know. I just feel like... I don't fit in. Oh, Lily. You've waited so long and, and worked so hard to be back with Poppy and Rosie. You're bound to feel scared, hmm? But you know what? Sometimes it's best to just jump in. I'll miss you, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Bunny would can't be that bad, can it? I mean, at least we'd all be together. You hate it. I heard they sit on your backs when you get into fights. I heard they lock you in your bedroom all night. What if they split us up? I won't let them. I'll persuade Cam to change your mind about foster homes. Why don't you just shut up about that? It's never going to happen, Johnny. This is real. Right. Who's ready to go to war? Plan B. You bet. Did they really think they'd get away of dragging us out of our own home? We're going to tell the world what's been going on. They won't know what's hit them. I'm in. And me. Oh, me too. Before you didn't want to know. Oh, we've got nothing else on. There's a reason we call this a care home and not a care house. We try to provide our young people with a proper, loving, stable place to live. Somewhere they feel safe and valued where the staff really care about them and they can form real emotional ties and just have fun like real families do. Young people in care need to feel wanted just like anybody else. They want to know their opinions matter. They like a challenge. Would you chuck your own children out on the street because you didn't think they were worth the money? I don't think so. But that's what the council are threatening to do here and we're not going to take it. We're fighting back. Perfect. Look. Wow, that is <laughs> genius. It's good to know. Well done, guys. Tracy. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't let someone take me away if I didn't want to go, would you? Of course not. Newsroom. Hello. Hello. Tracy. Promise. Newsroom. Hello. Promise. Hi. Yeah, I just want to tip you off about an anti-council protest. All right, then, Christy, see you later. Was that Christy Perry? Mm-hmm. I've asked her to come in so we can sort out about Lily moving in. Oh, that's great news. Mm-hmm. Um, the protest has just started. Really? Oh, come on. At least come and have a look. Hmm? Oh. Right, come on, Mike. Hey, Lily. It's fantastic news. Jeannie's just told me you're moving with the Perrys. You must be able to move. <laughs> Can I come and stay? I'll sleep on the floor and then she got a big bed. Um, you got your own room then? Carmen, I haven't decided if I'm going yet. But you get to live with Poppy and Rosie. What? Well, you moving in with the Perrys means there's one less spot open here. That might be enough to keep Elmshire open. I've got to go tell the others. No, Carmen, don't, please. Oh, it's all going to be all right. Lily's moving in with the Perrys and it'll save us money. Carmen, shut up. Why, this is great for you. Carmen, it's not that simple. Though. How much will it save? Stop it, I don't want to go. Have you lost it? easy, guys. It's not up to you. Yeah? Well, you've got an home to go to. We're losing ours and getting sent to a prison. That's, you know, not, that's, not, that's not, not fair. Stop it. Why is Tracy up on the roof? Hey, Don't let the council close us down! Save our home! Stop the council from closing!
Tracy, come down here. I want to get up there. You will stay exactly where you are. Tracy! <laughs> <laughs> What is she doing? I'm milking it. It's working. Tracy! Of all the stupid, irresponsible things you've done, I mean, what kind of example do you think you're setting? If we don't do something, we won't have anyone to set an example for. Well, you being on the roof is not going to help. It will. Stay down for oh, the coming down. Oh, really, really. Oh, oh, This latest round of cuts means that Elm Tree House will have to close. The council has a, a duty of care. Oh, hi, Christy. I, it's, a, it's a bit crazy around here today. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Mike, I can't bear the thought of Lily being in the middle of all of this. Just, just, give, just give me a second, yeah, please, yeah? Sorry. Why don't I just take her home? I, I'll bring her back when things have calmed down, but I... Uh, well, Christy, actually... I'm, I Mr that... Milligan! This ends now! At last, someone from the council! Come with me. I've got some people here who'd love to ask you a few questions about the funding for Empty House, yes? No comments. Absolutely no comments. <laughs> well, I mean, I can come any time of the day, I don't mind, and, and I don't mind sleeping on the floor. Look, you'll be very welcome, Carmen, but I'm just taking Lily today. Christy's here. She wants me to live with them. She's come to take me away. You sure? Look, let's just go back inside and we can talk about it. No, no, you promised. You promised you wouldn't let her take me. And she won't. Please, Lily, let's just go back inside. Please, it's not safe out here. Lily. Lily, please, get back in off the roof. No, no, listen to me. I'm listening. Talk to me. I keep getting things wrong. I don't belong there. <laughs> Lily! Please! Lily, get off the roof now! I'm scared I'll ruin things for Poppy and Rosie. Go back! Go back inside! It's just moving too fast for you, Lily, that's all. We can help that, we can slow things right down. Lily, look at me. Everyone is on your side. We're here to help. Now, let's go back inside, OK? Should I go with her? I think you've done enough already. It wasn't your fault.
Um, guys, listen up, please. Uh, this is... I'll take it from here. Thanks, Mr Milligan. I'm Leanne Spinks. I've been sent by the council. We're launching a full investigation into how this accident happened. Whilst that's in progress, Elm Tree House will be closed and you will all be placed elsewhere. has been taken and it's final so when do we have to go your social workers are on their way that friend might die and now you want to take the home away too Mike, do something. I'm sorry, T. Mike, please. Mr. Milligan no longer works here. What? Pending the outcome of our investigation. <sighs> Look, it was my idea to do the protest. I organised everything. I called the TV people. You must be very proud. Look, if anyone's going to get sacked, it should be me. Frankly, you're probably right. But unfortunately for Mr. Milligan, it doesn't work that way. <gasps> but it wasn't my Fault. Tracy! What happened was my responsibility. All right, let's just let the process take its course. Hmm? The first of the social workers is here. I'm so sorry. That's gonna work. You got a better ideas? No. Well, shut up. We're gonna stay down here until they agree to keep this place open. Yeah. I'll break the door down and drag us all out. But let's like see him try. I won't let anyone drag me. Good. We'll have to force him to talk. She'll be okay. Come on, Liam. Open up. Open this door. You're gonna keep Elm Tree open? You know we can't do that. We'll go find someone who can. Yeah! yeah that's right! <sighs> They'll come up when they're hungry. You may have time on your hands, Mr Milligan, but some of us have got work to do. Uh, don't talk to him like that. Tracy. Ten more minutes, and then I'm calling the police. Liam. No, do it yourself. They won't listen to me. Well, do you blame them? Look, they need your help. No, no, you mean you need my help. Sapphire, this is going to end badly. And whose fault is that? Jeff will help. Don't make this any harder than it already is. Police, please. Uh, there'll be no need for that. I'll get them out. <laughs> Liam, open the door, it's me. No tricks? It's me. She's gonna call the police. You can't win this one. We can try. Look, they're gonna shut us down. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. So you can either be dragged out of here, kicking and screaming. They'll be the ones doing the screaming. Or we control how it happens. So we can go out of here with a bit of dignity. With our heads held high. Because I don't know about you, but I want to show them that they don't own me, even though they think they do. Right, that's 
Eggs. Everything's fine. 